Hey Lug Nuts, welcome to Lug Unplugged. It's me, Meredith. Today I have, yes, it's the new Chariot set. I got it in Diamond Navy. This is one of those things that I never knew I needed. And then they put it out and it was like, yeah, I need at least one of those. So I'm really excited about it. I'm a little bit nervous about the largest one because I'm worried it'll take up the full interior of, um, of like a different bag. And then it just adds extra pockets, but you can't actually pull it out very easy or work around it. Um, so well, I'll have to check it out and let me know what you think if it's if it's too bulky. But it is, so the Chariot's a three pack. Um, this is, yeah, it's a Diamond Navy. I love the interior of the Diamond Navy. So let's look at, look at it, because I think it's just so handy, especially if you carry a big tote and you want a way to organize things, smaller things within the big tote, this is this is just exactly what you need. So the largest one has no zipper top. It has two little grab handles. They are too small for my wrist, um, but easy to just grab in and out of the bag. The thing about these is it's all about the organization, right? So you've got little cargo pockets, larger slip pockets on the that side, nothing on the edge of either. On the back, you have a single uh, pocket. It's magnets here. So, and it's, it's reasonable size. The inside, the bottom is wipeable. The sides are the regular liner material. On the back, you've got a privacy pocket. You've got two pen holders and two card slots over here. One, I don't know if you can see that one, two card slots. So an easy way to, to even just put like your ID and a credit card real quick and keep going without anything else. I would probably just toss a wallet in here because I have a hard time going with just my ID and credit card. I would need all my things. Okay, and then on the front side, you've got six stackable pockets. So down here at the bottom, the shortest ones, the next one to, the top ones are fleece lined, the other ones are not. So, and they're, they're good size too. I wonder if my Kindle, I bet my Kindle would fit into that pocket. If it wouldn't, it would definitely fit into the back magnet pocket. So an easy way to just tote what you need. It's interesting that they put the wipeable bottom on, but that's the only part that's wipeable. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess it's good. Some of it's wipeable if you have messier things. So. Uh, let's look at the second bag. This one, I, I also recently bought the, oh, what was it called? The little insulated bento box. Uh, I can't remember <laughs> what it's called. Um, so this is a little insulated bag, but I thought the little insulated bag here or the bento box would be a great way for me. Uh, I'm having twins in about six weeks, so I'm going to need ways to keep formula or breast milk cold as we're traveling around. So having little insulated things would be great. And this would be so cute as like in like a pump bag as your little cooler, right? It's all insulated on the inside. And Amy said, don't think of it as an insulated bag. Like you can use it for non-insulated bag things. They did change the kind of insulation and this is a little bit tougher than the other stuff. So maybe that'll be really help it to not rip as easy. The outside is very similar to the first one. Magnetic back, back, nothing on the sides except for the lug insignia, and four cargo pockets on the front. So another super easy, easy thing. Oh, and I did think this could be a really handy like diaper bag for my car. You know, you put diapers in, you put wipes in, you put diaper cream and a little changing pad and pop it right in the car and you're good to go. So that was my, I was like, oh, this could really be handy. And if I hold these up, you can see the size difference here. They're just so cute, you guys. And then the last piece of this like chariot trio is a transport, a clear view envelope. I'm getting all confused, pregnancy brain. I think that the clear view envelopes are the ones that you can see right through. So here's a clear view. It is a good size. The bottom's not wipeable, but the sides are wipeable. And so you can easily throw 
important things in here, even like if you just do makeup in here and chapstick and like touch up things, and then you toss it in your large one inside and it just keeps you a little more organized knowing where everything is. Um, this, yeah, these might end up even going to the hospital with me to deliver because what a handy way to like keep important documents or um, you know, things that we need. This could be a great place to throw all the papers we get for the babies, just kind of stack them right in there and we can take them home. So, a cool duo. Uh, I'm excited to use them half, no, more than half. All my lug bags, except for like two, are packed because we are also moving next week. So, uh, I can't really try them out yet, but I'm excited to do so. Uh, if you got these, which print did you get? Are you excited to use them? What bag are you gonna use them in? I, I like the idea of using it in the arpeggio, which is the one they kind of like built it after, but that's the one I'm most concerned about if I use this bag in it, is there room for anything else inside the arpeggio? And I'm not sure. I have like the Rover XL, and this would be a great way to use the Rover XL as long as it stands up because there's no zipper on the top if it, tips everything falls right out so you need to have a full enough bag it can't tip over and the rover is quite wide like it's really big uh, I was also thinking about there's there's the 31 totes that have the wire around the outside um, those still are something that I use from time to time because they are nicely kind of structured easy to stack um, life jackets in and so to be able to like take this to the beach with a book and sunscreen uh, and like a water bottle in it, you know, especially if it's just me <laughs> going to the beach. Uh, but then I don't need the giant thing for the life jackets. Anyway, something like in the, in like a 31 utility tote, this would be a great way to keep your stuff from just sliding around on the inside of those. Cause those things are giant caverns, right? And we love organization and knowing where our things are and being able to have it all exactly where we need it. This would probably be really nice when you're traveling to have inside a backpack, inside a carry-on, so that you can just go, aha, my sunglasses, aha, my boarding pass, like with all the little stacked pockets. It's a perfect way to keep your papers organized. Um, these are not RFID shielded. Consider that when you put your passport in. But if you, you could add like the Tango travel wallet, just throw it in here, that's RFID shielded and then you're good to go. So yeah, lots of great options. I'm excited to try this. Comment down below. If you like my videos, click like and subscribe. I hope to see you soon. If you don't hear from me, it's probably because I'm just overwhelmed with movies and moving and babies. But I will be back someday <laughs> in the future. Hope to see you then. Bye.